If you wanna build an online course website with LearnDash, there is five plugins that you must use in order for this to work correctly. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's tutorial. Okay, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started with number one. So number one is the Astro Pro plugin. So of course you need the Astro Pro theme in order for you to use this. Now the reason why you need to use the um, theme is because this theme is very, very important when it comes to laying out your website and giving you that flexibility. Now, a lot of themes out there, they may look beautiful, but they don't allow you the option to customize your pages. And what I mean by that is, let's say you want to have a page which is full width. You would have to go in and add extra plugins for you to achieve that. But with this Astra theme, it gives you that flexibility right out of the box. So let's say you want to have a boxed layout or a stretched layout or a full width stretched layout, you are able to achieve this. And this flexibility is why I recommend that you use the Astro Pro theme. Now, let's talk about the Pro plugin. So the Astro Pro plugin comes with a lot of features and some of these include the colors, and background option, the typography, which means you can add your own fonts or even use Google Fonts as you're designing your website. So this allows you to actually brand your website even using typography. The next thing is the Blog Pro, the spacing. So this allows you to space out your website the way you want it, which is again great in terms of building your flexible design. Next, we also have header sections. We also have transparent headers. So let's say you want to have specific colors on your headers. You can actually go in and use uh, these transparent headers on specific pages, which is fantastic. Now, moving on, we also have specific page headers. So let's say you want to have a type of page header for a specific course. You can actually do that and uh, differentiate that course from a different course by just uh, adding different layouts or even colors on the headings. So these are the features that come with this Astro Pro plugin. Now moving ahead, we also have custom layouts, site layouts, footer widgets. Uh, we also have an option to scroll to the top. Again, this is not very important, but it's always a good feature where if someone is right at the bottom of the page, they can just click that button and it takes them right to the top. So these are the things that you need in the Astro Pro plugin. Now, I'm going to leave the next here to last because this is a recent uh, update that has just been added to Astra and this is the integration with the LearnDash LMS. So this integration now allows you to even brand and may even make your UI look even more beautiful. So if you haven't seen my video that I did um, a few days ago, uh, you need to go and take a look at that because I go into depth and show you how the UI actually changes from how Astra used to be before and how it lo is looking now. So in fact, you can just take a look now. This is how I've actually managed to brand my website. So you can, as you can see, it's now adapted my colors from my color palette. But before, we are unable to do that. Okay, so let's move on to the next plugin. And the plugin we're going to talk about is the MemberPress plugin. Now, this plugin is very, very important. So let me just give you a scenario here. So let's say you have three courses on your website and uh, different people are coming to your website and they're signing up uh, for these three courses. So what this plugin does is it has ded dedicated pages that uh, for these three courses. So the person that signs up, so let's say the, the WordPress course, get signed up onto that course and you can set permissions that the person that signs up for the Photoshop course does not see or does not have access to, let's say, the Divi course. So this is very important because if you were trying to do this manually, this will give you a headache. So this plugin is ridiculously simple to set all this up. And also there's features that come with it, like for example, let's say you want to add coupons on uh, these courses. You can do that easily. Uh, you can also set up pricing pages. And let's say you want to drip all your content, you can also do that. And the beauty of this plugin is it works with any theme. So, so one of the headaches is choosing a plugin that has compatibility issues with, say, a specific theme. So this, you won't get that because it, it works with any theme. Now, moving along, you can also set up an affiliate program if you wanted to. And also, it has a full-blown subscription management, which is... Uh, what I tried to explain uh, a few moments ago. It's very important to have something that's solid like this because you can actually go in, upgrade all your um, students to different levels. So uh, I've also made a, a uh, in-depth review of MemberPress. So I'll link to that video as well in the show notes below. 
Okay, so the next service I'm going to talk about is an email autoresponder, and this is ConvertKit. Now, they also have a plugin, which I think is very important. Now, why do you need ConvertKit? So let's say all these students that are signing up to your course, they're signing up, but the question now is, how do you communicate with them if you want to send them, say, promotions or even emails with updates or just letting them know what is going on on your platform? So this is where you need an autoresponder program which makes that process easier. So these programs that I've mentioned here, um, spe specifically MemberPress, has that integration with ConvertKit. So every time someone signs up onto your website, they automatically add it onto your autoresponder, which makes it easier for you to market to that list or even communicate or send messages much easier. So ConvertKit is a must when it comes to managing all your students on your website. So let's move on to the next one, and this is Thrive Leads. Now, Thrive Leads adds these pop-ups onto, um, onto your website to uh, give them offers or even, or even advertise certain courses, discounts, and so on. And again, this Thrive Leads also integrates with ConvertKit very well. So let's say you have a free offer or you have a discount. Anyone that signs up for that discount gets added onto um, the, the mailing list which makes it easier for you to then upsell them to even other courses. So this is just an easier way to capture you know, your, your leads and also even to um, add more people onto your subscription list. So Thrive Leads is very important because it allows you different ways to add people to your mailing list. So that was number four. Let's move on to number five. So the number five plugin that we're going to talk about here is the Divi plugin. So <laughs> realize I've just said Divi plugin. Now, if you didn't know, uh, Divi actually has um, a theme, a standalone theme, and also a plugin. So this is where now you get to use all the great features of Divi inside Astra. So why do you want to do this? Because obviously, as I mentioned be uh, before, Astra has baked in features that work well with these learning management systems. So where Divi comes in is where you want to build stylish landing pages and even pages of your website. So these are the pages that um, uh, your normal visitors to your site can see. But as soon as they sign up to a course, this is where, you know, the layout of that course is taken over by Astra in terms of the layout and how that page looks. So this is a great combination because you won't have that um, great style and layout if you were to use Astra out of the box. So this is where you need to add Divi into the mix. So these are the five plugins that you need to use in order for you to have a fully functioning online course website. So if you have any questions, please do leave your comments in the comments box below. I've also included links to where you can buy these services. So if you do use my affiliate links, I'd really appreciate that because this helps the channel. So once again, I'd like to say thank you very much for uh, uh, tuning in. Uh, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I go live and every time I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.